helping my channel grow by leaps and bounds. So welcome and I thank you so much for subscribing. sailboat that pulled into the harbor literally i we could throw a baseball well i couldn't maybe jeff could and hit that boat that's how close it is to the condo that we're staying in isn't that a beauty wow and there goes another cruise ship or i'm sorry i should say there goes another yacht leaving the port of Nice. So, a new boat has just arrived, a big ferry boat. We haven't figured out where the ferry goes yet. This boat over here, the blue one, is the Axioma. And I will post a link to information on that in case you want to charter it as. Life is short, eat dessert first. So have dessert first. I am having zucchini beignets and gazpacho. And if we had gotten up a little bit earlier, Oh, well, espresso, my cafe. If we had gotten up just a little bit earlier, we might not have missed breakfast. So rather than eat lunch, Jeff has chosen a patisserie. So in case you have never rented an Airbnb, one of the advantages of renting an Airbnb is that many of them have a washing machine and if you're very lucky they have dryer too um, the one that we are staying in here in nice has a washing machine which is great and then they have this fabulous drying rack and so here's a load of laundry just sitting out here drying in air and at the moment we have the air conditioner on so it'll hopefully dry soon but there is a great breeze here, outside the window, if we open the windows, a gorgeous breeze. We just turned the air conditioner on while we were out to cool it down for when we came back. And it's very easy. You lift it up, you put the clothes in here, and then This down, this down, and you just snap them together. There's nothing in there now. And you close it, and then you turn it all on up here. And so I set it for that load that uh, I just did. I set it for this 39 minute wash. Actually, it had washed earlier but I missed some direction or something and it, was, it needed to be run out more. So I just re-ran the whole thing while we went out to get some breakfast. So it's very easy to use and it's right here in the bathroom where most of them are in um, French apartments. And so it doesn't bother us to have some laundry in the living room. We're going to be going back out in a little while anyway, and hopefully by the time we get back later on this afternoon or early evening, all of this will be dry and ready to fold and put away. Here in this uh, apartment, we are lucky enough to have a freezer. Uh, and so we're doing ice the old-fashioned way. This, to me, explains why when you order ice in a restaurant, they bring you like two or three cubes. If they're making ice like this, I wouldn't want to give it all away at one shot either. So, but it is a luxury to have a 
freezer and a refrigerator that is this big. This is um, pretty close to the biggest one that we've had in France. That red building over there is the building that we are staying in. So it's very close to the port, just across the street. It's a big cliff behind where we're staying. Today, we're going shopping at the Count For store. Now, this is a smaller one. Many years ago, we used to have Car For in the United States, very close to where I lived in Pennsylvania. Um, compared to that store, this is like a little convenience store size, but I guess in reality, it's, it's just a small grocery store. But bigger than a typical convenience store that those of us who live in the United States would be familiar with. So I guess the best way to describe it is it's a small, powerful supermarket. So once we got into this store, I had to sort of buzz around with my camera. That's why it seems like I'm kind of moving fast. Typically, I have found from experience, these grocery stores do not like it if you come in with a video camera and start filming. So I had to do this fairly quick and fairly discreetly. So I mean, here we are uh, looking at butter, and next to the butter, meats and chicken and um, some frozen goods and things. Uh, there are more meats. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory for you. You can sort of see what, what I'm looking at. It looks like uh, sausages and um, interesting thing. In France, the eggs are not kept in a refrigerator. I found that interesting. Um, they are right out on the shelf and people don't always refrigerate them. I, I might have a hard time doing that when we first moved to France. I guess I'll have to get used to it. Milk is also something that I don't always see refrigerated in France. So here we have some different kinds of pâtés and um, sauces and things to dip. Some sausages here. Um, no real rhyme or reason to the assortment or how they've got it categorized. There you just pass milk on the shelf next to the juices. Again, not refrigerated. And then we have waters. And if you look closely, you may see some familiar brands from the United States, particularly things like Catchit. Um, got oils and other vegetables and things in jars. Salsify is an interesting vegetable. You don't find that here in the United States. It's very good though. buzzing around. It looks like here I am in the pasta aisle. Some of these things are things that we see here in the United States on the shelves. So, I mean, they're imported from Italy in the United States, so obviously they'd be in France. And we're back to sodas and things, and household things. I'm, I'm trying to give you a good sense of 
the kinds of things that I'm finding here in this Carrefour store. And of course we have the produce area. Looks like any other grocery store with uh, fruit and vegetables. It was autumn in France. So we're looking at, I mean, those are mandarin oranges from South Africa. Pretty much the same things that we see here in Florida anyway. But everything looks very good. So if I had planned to do more cooking in France, I probably would have bought more of these things. But I wanted to just show you how nice everything looks in this store. And courgette, of course, is this is zucchini. We call it zucchini, they call it courgette. And they use the flowers, of course. And then this is the health food area. Um, you'll see that in the grocery store. It's got a B-I-O, B-O, for, uh, I just equate it with health foods. So if you're looking for the healthy food part of the grocery store, you look for the, the B.O. And just miscellaneous things. Okay, so we just got back from Carrefour. And let's unpack the groceries. So we have Door extra chocolate, pure chocolate ice cream. And we have Ben and Jerry's, Netflix and Chill. Actually, it looks like we got two Netflix and Chill. We got some President Butter to go on the baguettes. And we got a package of lavash kiwi cheese. Um, if you're in the United States, you've probably seen this in our grocery stores, but it's in English. We got, we got a big bottle of Coke for Jeff. We have some fruit confiture, you know, jelly jam for bread. I bought this bag of Black Provence olives. I'm actually hoping to be able to just pack that and take it home with me to the U.S. Um, I had heard peanut butter is very hard to come by here, but Jeff managed to find a jar, so we found some Skippy peanut butter. Um, this is orange juice. It says Presse, which I always assume to mean like sort of fresh squeezed um, even though it wasn't fresh squeezed right before I bought it so we have that and then I picked up these bananas Basket. Those are clementines, uh, they call them mandarin, that I found in. And let's see what else. Red plum. So we have red plums. So we have some fruit for morning. The nuts we already had, so I'm not going to show you those. There's a package of four chocolate croissants. Now these are fresh today. Um, we're probably going to have to heat them in the microwave just to freshen them up tomorrow and the next day. And then of course everybody needs a baguette for the day. Here's our baguette. And so that was our trip to the market here in downtown Nice. And we also got 
some sugar so that we can have sugar at your coffee in the morning. we will be headed to the medieval city of Ez, high up on the hill. It dates back to about 3rd century BC. If you're not a subscriber, don't forget to click below and subscribe now so you don't miss any of our future videos. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thanks. See you next time.